the 10 minute treasure my name is jeff pospisil and lately i've been on a kick where i'm trying to help my future self so make it easier for future jeff because often i've done the exact opposite where um, i make it harder i may overcommit myself and then all of a sudden i when the day comes where i have to do everything um, I'm really regretting it. So now I'm trying to do the opposite. How can I make things easier? And one of the ways that I've found that makes life just a little bit easier for future Jeff is using those recurring transactions. And I'm going to go over scheduled and unscheduled and reminders in QuickBooks Online. All right. So here I am on the QuickBooks Online desktop app. And I want to show you the result of the recurring transactions before I show you actually how to do it. So I set up two, two recurring transactions the other day. One was a reminder and one was scheduled. So let me show you the reminder. The reminder just shows up here on the taskbar. It doesn't show up. There's no other notification. There's no email. It just shows up on the tasks. So you can see I have 28, uh, my online banking that's syncing. It says I got 28 transactions to match up, but it also says I have to respond to a recurring reminder. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on go. And it's a journal entry. So why would you use a reminder? Uh, one good <laughs> the way to use a reminder is if maybe the the amount changes every time so but it's always the same date so i think about my water bill for example i the coding is always the same the the pay is always the same but it's a, a different amount each time and then i could just go in here and click it to edit and create it and i could go ahead and change the amounts or double check the amounts and if there is a bill or an invoice I could go ahead and attach that and then I could go ahead and post it I'm not actually gonna post this though I am going to skip it all right and then the other one is the scheduled one and the scheduled one it just happens so you want to make sure it's always the same every single time always the same every single time so I had this QuickBooks one is what I had um, scheduled I'm pretty sure yep this is it so this would be a good one it's probably better for the journal entry that's always the same every single time versus a bill unless the bill of course is always the same every single time so but it posts automatically I don't get any notification it just happens so I'm going to go ahead and delete this, by the way, because I really don't want um, this. So let me go ahead and show you how to set them up. And I'll also show you unscheduled recurring transactions at the same time. So what you want to do is go over to the gear. And then it's right in the middle of the lists here is recurring transactions. All right. So here's my recurring transactions. And but if I wanted to get to my reminders list besides on my tasks, I could also go here. So remember when you saw that journal entry after I clicked my tasks, that's what this would do as well. So let me go ahead and go back. And here's everything that I have scheduled. I have two bogus ones. Here's this one for a QuickBooks. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then here's my reminder for a journal entry. Delete that. So, all right, so there's a couple things you need to think about. So with a scheduled transaction, it's the same amount every time, posts automatically without you knowing it. For a unscheduled one, this is, it's a very similar. You could set it up, but you just don't have the dates. And what you end up doing is you're able to use it so you can go ahead and use it and it'll go ahead and create the bill or journal entry or whatever it is that you need to create. And then a reminder, like I said, it shows you a reminder. So it's great for those ones where it's the, the same date all the time, but maybe not the same amount. So let's go ahead and look at making one. There's a number of ways to make a new transaction. A lot of these ones, this is how I did them. These are stipends that I pay the same exact amount every single month. So what I did for those ones is I went to new and you can create any different transaction type. So for these ones, I wanted them to create the bill. So that way it would show up as a bill to pay 
And so what I did is I did created a bill and I hit OK. I called the name. I'm just going to call it recurring bill. Everyone's got to have a, a name. It won't let you save it without that. You do get another chance to say if you want it scheduled, reminder, or unscheduled. I'm going to say scheduled. Uh, so if it's a journal entry, you could say zero days in advance because it really doesn't matter. But something like a bill or um, something else where <laughs> maybe the timing, uh, like for me, I, I want to make it, I usually make them 10 days in advance because I normally work on this stuff once a week. That way it creates it and then I'll be able to schedule a payment uh, in the future. Go ahead and pick your vendor. I'm just going to choose Amazon. And when do you get have to pay this regular bill? So I pay it. Let's just say I pay it monthly on the today happens to be the 23rd. So I'm going to choose the 23rd. And when do I want to start that? So if I already paid it for this month, but I want to start it next month, I can go ahead and do that. And is there an end date? So, and maybe there's no end date for this one. Then you go ahead and fill in whatever category it is. So travel, leave a description, monthly travel cost, $50. And if there was anything else, so you just go ahead and fill that all in. If there is any support, so maybe you have an email saying, or maybe it's a, a contract that shows it. So you can go ahead and throw that in there. And then you go ahead and save template. So that does not create a transaction. All that does is create that recurring one. When it gets within 10 days of September 23rd, it will create a bill. So I'm going to go ahead and close. Well, I'll go ahead and save the template. All right. So now that Amazon one will show up in our transactions. Let me see. Recurring bill, Amazon right here. So right here. And if I had any of those details wrong, I can go ahead and edit it. Or maybe I had to use one. Maybe I didn't do the August one yet. I could still just go ahead and use that. Um, and, I, and I can go ahead and create the bill with that. So I hit use. And now it went ahead and created one as of today. So it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that though. Um, another thing you could do is let's just say, for example, uh, I <laughs> scheduled it wrong or maybe I got, um, I don't know, maybe <laughs> with Amazon, maybe somebody gave me a gift card so I don't have to pay it this month. So I could actually skip to the next date if I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this though. So the other thing you can do uh, quite often, and so a reminder is the same exact way. Let me just show you a new unscheduled one. And unscheduled ones are great for those tricky transactions that, um, there, there you go. So a tricky transaction that you just need to make sure you code right. Uh, so you get the, the, the bill or the journal entry or anything else, but you want to, uh, set it up cor correctly where maybe you have troubles getting the debits and the credits right. Go ahead and use a unscheduled transaction because then all you have to do is go there and click on use. So that's why I would use that. And let me just show you also the reminder one. Reminder one looks exactly like the scheduled one, except for the only difference is, again, it gives you a notification in your tasks that instead of actually creating the transaction. So I'm going to go ahead and close this now. I'm going to continue without saving. Probably one of the more common ways to actually create a transaction is when you're actually paying bills and you start thinking, OK, I pay this all the stinking time. Why don't I go ahead and make it a recurring one? So I'm just going to go ahead and throw in throw in my name and maybe I'm paying bills and I uh, go ahead and code everything up. So other expenses, miscellaneous, that's a horrible description. Don't do that. And I'm getting everything set. And I'm, if I start thinking, man, I pay this every single month, I could just go ahead and make recurring. 
and that will just pop you right over that screen. So one of the cruddy things is this doesn't actually create that bill. So if I'm creating it for today, you're going to have to go ahead and use it. Uh, so that way it'll it'll show up as a as a bill to pay. So, um, but that is probably the most common way that I do it is normally I don't get a whole list of things to pay recurring. Normally it just occurs to me, huh, this is, I pay this thing bill every single month. Why not make it a little bit easier? Set it up as a reminder, set it up as a scheduled and do future Jeff a favor. All right. All right, that brings us to the end. Same as usual, I'll put a couple of helpful links in the descriptions, probably to whatever uh, Intuit has for official documentation on how to do this. I do find myself using um, these memorized or recurring transactions a lot more often as, as you get busy and maybe I'm just getting older and having troubles keeping track of all the details. I wanna make sure I get everything paid, everything recorded. Um, so these recurring transactions have been a blessing. All right, till next time, God bless.